As a data scientist, I am often required to produce nice visualizations from data. In addition, I use Jupyter Notebooks daily. I often wish that I could use some of the amazing tools available for interactive visualization in JavaScript, in my notebook workflow. eCharts is a great library that originated at Baidu, for producing fast and beautiful interactive visualizations. It contains dozens of examples to implement in pure JavaScript. I often want to use it in a Jupyter Notebook, with the same flexibility as the JavaScript version. Because Jupyter Notebooks are essentially a website, it can easily use external JavaScript libraries. Let's produce some eCharts visualization. To display arbitrary HTML content, in Jupyter, we need to import the HTML function from the IPython display module. Then, we can display any arbitrary HTML content in our Jupyter Notebook. Now for the sophisticated part. To use external JavaScript code in Jupyter we need to load it first using the required JS library. This library is part of Jupyter Notebook implementation. To do so, we register the path to the eCharts library, with required JS like that. We can now start injecting our graph into Jupyter. First, we can organize our HTML template to include several variables, to adjust the chart visuals. We need to use require.js to load the eCharts library and initialize it. Then, we find the HTML element we have created above with the JavaScript command document.get element by ID. Finally, we initialize the chart using the JavaScript call my chart.set option. eCharts await a JSON object that describes the entire chart. We will use this later. Take a moment to understand the script. Now, let's go into one of the simple eCharts examples, and copy the chart option code to clipboard. Then, paste this code into our Jupyter Notebook. Of course, JavaScript objects are a little bit different than Python dictionaries. Therefore, we ought to refactor it, to be a legal Python dictionary. Mostly, we need to add quotes for the dictionary keys. Now, one more thing left to do. We need to convert the option dictionary back into a JSON format, so we can easily inject it into our JavaScript code. Finally, we can refactor the code to be a simple function, that we can again to produce more of our nice eCharts graphs. Let us run the cell now. This was a 3 minutes video on how to render eCharts graphs inside Jupyter Notebooks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider hit like, and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.